cooking with dimples um, today I'm gonna do my banana pudding cupcakes so today my son just recently turned 16 and this is what I made for his birthday so I just want to show you guys how to do them today I just used for this recipe I used a box of yellow cake mix um, later on I'm gonna show you guys how to make the cake from scratch because it's totally simple and I know you guys would love that too so but today we used a box of yellow cake mix we use sprinkles, we use frosting, we use oil, water, bananas, and also you're gonna need two bags and you're gonna need a metal piper. If you don't wanna use the metal one, you can use the plastic one. I just prefer to use the metal one for the piping because this is what I'm gonna use to do my banana pudding. So, what I have here is I have, uh, oh yeah, for the yellow cake mix, it's very simple. You can follow the directions on the back. And um, I have um, I have my um, baking cups filled about two thirds full. If you want them bigger, you can always fill them more. But for me, I use two thirds. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fill them. I didn't use anything. <laughs> I didn't use anything spectacular. I just have a spoon and I have a bowl. So. I'm just gonna fill them. Very easy. If you fill, if you spill any of the sides, it's okay. All you have to do is wipe it off before you bake it, so it will not burn on the sides. But cupcakes don't have to be perfect. You're gonna frost them, so it's gonna be all right. And it's that simple. You're just gonna take, fill them. You want them to all kind of be about the same um, height, the same fullness, because you want them to cook evenly. So right here I have about 18 of them. I think I can get about three more but here I have about 18. It says it's supposed to fill up 24, but mine are a little larger than the regular one. So there you go, they're all filled. We're gonna put them in the oven for about 17 to 20 minutes. How I know my cupcakes are done is I take a toothpick and I insert it in the middle. When you insert it in the middle and you pull it out and it's totally clean with no batter on it, then you know it's done. Also, they'll be golden, oh, um, golden brown. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes so I can show you how I decorate them. Hello you guys, I'm back. So my cupcakes have been baking about 20 minutes and they're all cooled off now. I've already started them and got some of them piped for you already. Um, but all I did was I cut the tip off the bag and I inserted the metal piper and I twisted it off at the end, very simple. This could be a little messy. You don't have to be perfect because we're going to frost the top with frosting. So all you're going to do is you're going to insert it and you're gonna gently push. You'll see the cupcake start filling up in the middle and then you slowly draw back until it reaches the top. And that's it. You're gonna do that with each one. Feel it? Just like that. Needed a little bit more in that one. <laughs> and then I'll be right back in a minute so I can show you how I frost them. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I've changed my bags out. I have my frosting in here now. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I frost the cupcakes. This one's smaller because this is the one I have <laughs> and I like to make it perfect. 
not perfect doesn't have to be perfect but you can start from the inside and you can go out whichever one you want or you can start from the outside and come in <laughs> You also, there's also other tips to where you can get them, um, where it um, br brings more frosting out at once, but this is pretty much how you do it. You can start from the inside out, or you can go from the outside in. This is the one I have, so this is the one I use, because I don't want them all sloppy and all over the place. So We're just gonna get all these frosted. and topped and once again I will be right back hello you guys so I'm back and my muffins are all frosted now so all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use my yellow sprinkles because I'm doing banana pudding cupcakes so I'm just gonna sprinkle these you can sprinkle them as light or as heavy as you want <laughs> Mmm, yummy. They look so delicious. I know my family is going to love them and yours. A little bit more. Woo! And then I'm going to take the banana. I actually put my banana in the freezer because I didn't want it all, you know, melting off and dripping off the cupcake. So I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and I'm just going to cut them. And boop. We're just going to put one in the middle of each. And that's pretty much it. You got a party, y'all. <laughs> you can make this for a birthday party. You can make this just for a regular day, regular weekend. But I'm sure you will definitely enjoy it. Okay, you guys. So this is the finished product. Give me a little curl. So yummy. I cannot wait to see them. Yes. I hope you guys really enjoy them. Yes, you guys. So this is the end of my video. I had such a wonderful time tonight. It is nighttime. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys did as well. Um, I do want to give you one tip, and that's when you're making the banana pudding to um, pipe inside. They have two different directions. They have one for if you're making the pudding, and then they have another one for if you're using it as a pie. I would suggest you use the directions as a pie. It has less milk, and so the um, filling will be thicker. So therefore, when you're piping it, it will not be falling out the bag. So... Learned that the hard way, but yes, you guys won't have to. So I would like to give a shout out to my daughter, Cammie Melanin, the woman behind the cameras that made all this come together. And um, yes, so in a couple days, maybe three days, I'll be doing my um, cooking video and I'll be doing my stuffed bell pepper, my Italian stuffed bell peppers. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know if you guys will be interested in that video. What are some ones that you might like to see me doing? And yeah, just give me some feedback. I love you guys. Once again, I'm Misha, and you're watching Cooking with Dimples.